Hi friends, welcome to day 15 of 30 Inks 30 Days. Bless you to my partner. <laughs> We're gonna look at yesterday's flat first. Here it is. Beautiful. Um, I really disliked this writing experience. I wish I had the pen here so I could write an unhappy face. I wish I had any pen here. Well, I'll have a pen here in a moment, but then I can't turn it to the page. Anyway, shut up, Maria. Move on. We're moving on. So today, um, what did I pick? Oh, I picked Yamabudo. And I'm going to put that in my Lamy All Star. This is the vibrant pink color. And I'm pretty sure it has a broad nib. Yeah, it says B on there. Well, it's not just because that's my nickname. Um, look at that. The converter kind of looks stained. Who cares? Not me. So, anyway. The other day on, um, I just got around to watching it. Sorry. Did I? No, that's not true. The other day on Man Manda's, uh, video, who did she use? Tsutsuji. People were asking about, um, Tsutsuji compared to Yamabudo compared to Hissy Fit. Uh, maybe she's already answered that. Oh, it's already at the top, Maria. I don't, you don't need to keep turning. Um, anyway, I think those are three pretty different inks. And I figured I would show them here, even though she's probably shown them by now. And I wasn't asked. But that's the way it goes sometimes, you know? So we'll get some ink into the pen. I mean, into the, look, Maria, calm down. Hey, look, I got Lamy pointed up. Some people really care about that. Not I, said the fly. I do like that I can like set it down on its clip like that. So, um, what are we doing? Here, that's automatic pen so I can close this. Boom. Um, this morning, some oatmeals. I had an oatmeal. I made a big old batch, well, big old batch, not really just a batch of um steel cut oatmeal i put uh some ground cinnamon and ground ginger in it yum and my as a kid what i did was i ate it with brown sugar and i still love doing that but as an adult i try to pretend that i'm gonna be healthier than that so I did let myself eat it that way once because I love it. But today I put in, I had I had some cherries in the fridge, so I put those in. Um, I cut them in half and then cut them in quarters and put them in and they were delicious. Now that that's related to pins and ink, I mean, except for this made me think of cherries, so there. So this is Pilot Hiroshizuku. Yamabudo, which I'm told means wild grapes. Obviously a color for me. Um, Lamy All Star, Vibrant Pink. With a broad nib, 
in case you couldn't tell. First and only Lamy Broad Nib. This is a fire hose, this combination. It's obscene, I love it. So what someone was asking was if Yamabuto was like hissy fit. And to me, they're not. Here's Yamabuto, Tsutsuji, and Hissy Fit. This is more magenta. This is... <laughs> a little more subtle, somehow. But maybe that's just the thickness of how it was put down. And the other one to look at... Where did I put you? It's over here. Is Claret which to me felt like the closest to Hissy Fit. Just going off of my memory, where'd you go? Here. Yeah, Claret doesn't seem quite as saturated, but it's, but it's close. Claret's not far from Yamabuto, though this is purpler. Totally a word, it's fun to say. Anyway. Oh no, this is... No, it's not. Calm down, Maria. Um, hope you don't mind that excursion, that uh, side trip that we took there. I realized that last month I was just writing 30, and now I'm writing 30 inks. But that's okay. I'll figure out that 30 means 30 inks. This also has some gold sheen that... Um, you see when it's put on thick, the hissy fit doesn't have. But I don't know how much that gold sheen is going to turn out if you don't have a fire hose of a pen. Those of you writing in, I don't know, with the pen I had yesterday. Ugh. Okay. 30 inks. 30 days. June 2024. What is it? 15? Yeah. Pay 15. Man. Shoulders bothering me today. Ink. Pilot. Hiroshi. Tsuku. Yama. Udo. Pen. Mommy All Star, Vibrant, Pink, Broad. I don't know if this came with a broad or if I just bought the nib separately. That is something I really love about Lamy's. Um, Simona has been raving about her Lamy Gold Nib to where I'm like, I want a Lamy Gold Nib, but then I'm feeling like, but you know what? I don't want to put it on a safari. Maybe I could put it on this. What I'm thinking is maybe it's going to finally be what gets me to a studio. Because I do love the aesthetics of the studio. I love the clip on it, which is a very marmite clip, I think. I think you love it or hate it. I don't know if most people use marmite in that way if they're not from the UK or... One of the Commonwealth countries. Let me know. Let me know if you know what that means. Thanks. This doesn't look like wild grapes at all. I failed you, Yamabudo. I'm sorry. I tried. I didn't try, actually. What I did was lied, which rhymes with tried, but isn't the same thing. Okay. There's a little drop of water on here. Nice, 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 nice. Not nice.
I love these inks. They're so well behaved. They're well lubricated. <clears throat> They're a delight. I mean, admittedly, I only have three. I have <clears throat> my beloved Tsutsuji. I have Yamabudo. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have Tsukio. This, this spray got on here. Oh, and on here. Did this dry? <gasps> it drew, it drew, it dried enough. Do you can see the sheen? I did these because I thought they'd look good together. Spoiler, that's what I'm hoping for tomorrow's as well. Except I think basically it's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. But I wanna use it, so. There, just squished it together. That, you know, good enough. Good enough. <clears throat> yeah, gorgeous. I kind of feel like my card, swatch card for Yamabuto does not indicate how bright this is. But then, like maybe it just doesn't look bright. Like, it goes down brighter than it dries. Maybe we'll do this. Oh. We'll put a little bit at the top. Just to make sure. Do a second layer. Oh, you didn't see. I did a second layer. It's allowed if I want to. I make the rules. They're my swatch cards and I make the rules for them. I'm really excited for these. Did I show you that I have this little binder they're gonna go in? And with my coloring cards, I try to put them roughly in color order. No system's gonna be perfect. Because, like, some of the blues are tealy blue, but not really, but kind of. And some of the colors that are blue or purple might kind of sometimes look gray and vice versa. This one is going to go by manufacturer alphabetically. So, I'm enjoying this greatly. This is a great opportunity for me to get... Well, not, it's not going to quite be 30 because at least one of them I already had the card for. But I will at least have 30 at the end of the month that will be in there. Um, so I like that. Plus it's fun. And then what I'm thinking I could do, I could just leave this for the next 30 months, but it might make a good like swatchy chatty video. I don't always have the availability to film those though since I'm in a living situation that involves other people now. You know, I'm in the front room. That's where I film. And so, you know, it has to be free. This is like, bam. Zinc is huge. Let me scoot this over and give the ink a little more air time right there. Yeah. Okay. Right on. So anyway, I says to Mabel, I said, I hope you like this as much as I do. If you haven't tried the Hiroshizuku inks, I know they're pricey, but you could get a sample of them and see. For me, I find them worth it because they're just easy to use, right? Like they just work. I've never had issues with them. And some of the inks that I love to look at are just kind of a pain to write with. This, I love to look at them and they're, they're easy to write with. So, winter all around. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.